Welcome to a beginner's practice. Let's start lying on our back. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide apart. Just allow your arms to rest at your sides. You can begin by bringing your attention to your breath. From here, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. You can rock side to side a few times on your spine. We'll come into happy laughing baby. Grab onto your feet or your ankles. Again, you might rock side to side on the spine a few times. Hug the knees back into your chest. And when you're ready, we'll slowly hug the right knee in, extend the left leg. You can circle out the right hip joint a few times. And come into a supine twist. Allow the right knee to fall over to the left side, gazing over the right shoulder. Bring the knee back into center. And we'll switch sides, hugging the left knee in, extending the right leg long. You can circle out your hip joint a few times. And then allowing the knee to fall over your body, gazing over the left shoulder. From here, hug the knee back into center. This time, hug both knees in. We'll rock up to a seated position, coming onto all fours. And as you're ready, making your way into your cat-cow tilts, inhaling to lift the chest and the gaze, and exhaling to round the spine. few times following your breath. Let's come into child's pose, taking a moment of rest. Inhale out to a tabletop position. Let's tuck the toes, finding a high plank, top of a push-up. You can shift the shoulders over the hands a few times, warming up the wrists. And we'll find downward facing dog. Send your hips high. You can take a little bit of movement. Pedal out your feet, opening up through the hamstrings. On an inhale, coming out to a high plank. To exhale, pressing back to down dog. Let's just take that a few times following your breath. Moving from high plank to down dog. From here, drop down to your knees. Drop the chin and the chest. We'll lift into our cobra pose. And coming back onto the knees, send the hips high to downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. To exhale, step your feet between your hands. Come into ragdoll for a moment, grabbing on to opposite elbows. Shake out your head and your neck a few times. 
Feel free to bend your knees. And let's interlace the hands at the tailbone, allowing the arms to reach overhead. Nice opening through the shoulders. Release your hands. Bring your legs together to touch. And let's roll all the way up to standing, allowing the hands to meet at the heart, pausing for a moment. Inhale, arms reaching high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, stepping back to your plank. Again, drop the knees and the chest. Lifting up into your cobra pose. Exhale, coming back onto the knees and finding downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot between your hands. Dropping the left knee down. Low crescent lunge, arms reaching high. Exhale, plant your hands. Straighten the front knee, half Hanumanasana, taking a stretch through the hamstring. Let's bend back into the front knee, and making your way back through your vinyasa, lowering the knees, chest and chin, coming up to cobra, and making your way back to downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, stepping forward. Again, dropping the right knee down, arms reach high, low crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, straighten the front knee, half Hanumanasana. Let's bend back into the front knee. Coming back onto both knees as you lower the chest and the chin. Lifting up to Cobra Pose. And coming back to the knees to find Downward Facing Dog. Taking a few breaths. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, feet between the hands. Inhale, coming into Utkatasana, chair pose, finding a nice long spine as you bend into the knees. And as you exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, stepping back to your knees, lowering the chest and the chin. Inhale to your cobra pose. And exhale, find your way back to downward facing dog. From here, step your right foot forward, warrior one, foot between the hands, arms reaching high. A few deep breaths. And exhale, opening up to warrior two. Two. Gazing over the front hand. Inhale, straightening out the front knee. And exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose, reaching forward with the right arm. You can place your hand onto your shin or a block. Let's come back up to standing, turning the toes in, hands come to the hips, and we'll exhale, fold forward. You can bring your palms to your mat, or maybe bring them onto a block. And 
Inhale, lengthen halfway. Bring the hands to the hips. We'll come all the way up to standing. And coming back to a warrior two position, right knee bends. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. You can bring the right palm down to a block or your mat. As you reach the left arm up and over, nice long spine. And let's release the hands to the inside of the front foot, finding a runner's lunge. You can drop the left knee down, you can drop onto your forearms. Slowly come back up onto the palms. You can Come into a twist, bringing the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, pressing the palms together. And if you're feeling stable, you might choose to lift your left knee from the mat. Nice deep breath. Let's release the hands. Again, drop the left knee down. Front knee straightens, finding half Hanumanasana, walking out your arms. Drop your head down. Slowly bend back into your front knee, lifting the left knee from the mat. Coming into a low lunge for a moment. And as you're ready, left foot steps forward into a fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Long spine, just a few breaths. Inhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, stepping back to your knees, lowering the chest and the chin, lifting into your cobra pose. And exhale, find downward facing dog. Stepping the left foot forward. Warrior one, nice deep bend into the front knee. And let's exhale to warrior two, gazing over the top hand. Inhale, front knee straightens. Exhale, Trikonasana, reaching forward with the left palm. You can place it onto your shin, lifting the gaze to your top thumb knuckle. Inhale, coming back up to standing. Let's point the toes in, hands interlace at the tailbone. And we'll exhale, fold forward. Reaching the arms overhead, nice stretch through the shoulders. Feel free to use a strap between your hands here. And let's inhale all the way up to stand, releasing the hands back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm reaches. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm reaching up and over. Lifting the gaze, deep breath. And 
let's release the hands to the inside of the left foot this time, runner's lunge. Slowly coming back up onto the palms, we'll take our twist, right upper arm to the outside of the left thigh. And if you're feeling stable, you can tuck your right toes and lift your knee, finding your balance. Again, release the hands, drop the right knee down, front knee straightens for half Hanumanasana. Slowly bend back into the front knee, lifting your right knee from the mat to your low lunge. As you're ready, stepping forward into a fold. Inhale into Utkatasana, chair pose. Bring the hands to the heart. Exhale, twist, left elbow, right thigh. And as you exhale, fold forward, bring the feet to a hips width distance, let the peace fingers grab your big toes, drop your head, you can rock side to side a few times. Let's release the hands. Bring the legs back to touch. Inhale, Utkatasana. Second side, hands to the heart. Exhale, twist, right elbow, left thigh. On an exhale, fold forward. Again, feet to a hips width distance. This time, palms of the hands under soles of the feet. Drop your head down. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to here. Release your hands. We'll come all the way up to standing, bring the feet together to touch. Setting up for tree pose, you can bring your right foot to your left ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Bring the hands to the heart, pressing the foot into the thigh, the thigh back into your foot for balance. If you're feeling stable, you might choose to interlace your hands and reach them up towards the ceiling. And let's slowly release. Coming into the other side, bringing the left foot to your right ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Hands to the heart. You might choose to interlace your hands, reaching the palms up towards the ceiling. And let's slowly.
slowly release down, bringing the feet together to touch. Inhale, arms reaching high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step yourself back to a high plank. We'll just hold here for a few breaths. And as you're ready, drop your knees down, lowering all the way down to your belly, letting one cheek rest on the mat. You can rest your opposite cheek down. Let's come into locust pose. Hands interlace at the tailbone. Press your palms together, lifting up for a few breaths. And then lowering yourself down. Plant the hands next to your ribs. Come up to all fours. Make your way through to a seat. You can lie all the way down onto your back. We'll set up for bridge pose, bending the knees, and lifting the hips. You can choose to interlace your hands at your tailbone or keep the hands and arms long at your side. And as you're ready, slowly lowering down. We'll take that a second time, bridge pose, lifting the hips for a few breaths. And let's lower down. Finding Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide apart. This time, bringing one hand to your heart and one to your belly. Let's hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. We'll come into Happy Laughing Baby. Once again, grab onto your feet. You can rock side to side. Hug the knees back into your chest. We'll come into our Yogi Bicycles, bringing the fingers behind the ears and twisting opposite knee to opposite elbow. You can go at your own pace. Keep building some strength in the core, taking it easy. A few more breaths. And as you're ready, let's lower down, hug the knees in. And rock yourself up to a seat. We'll come into Gomukhasana Cow Face Pose. Crossing the right shin over the left thigh, you can stack your knees. But if they don't quite stack, that's okay. You can just place your right foot down on the mat. As long as you feel a stretch in your right hip, that's perfect. Just let the head rest down.
come up to a seat, you can unravel your legs. Find your way into the other side, crossing the left shin over the right thigh. Gently walking the arms out, resting your head. Slowly coming back up to a seat, unraveling the legs, extending them long in front of you for Pachimottanasana, reaching the arms overhead. The exhale, folding forward. Feel free to use a strap or a belt around your feet, or you can bend your knees. Slowly come up to a seat. You can gently roll onto your back. We'll come into Viparita Karani, legs up the wall pose. You might even move your mat next to the wall or you can stay right where you are. Feel free to place a block under your hips. Maybe close your eyes just for a few breaths. here. Remove your block if you have one. Hug the knees into your chest. And let's allow both knees to fall over to the right side, gazing over the left shoulder. And bring the knees back through center. Allow them to fall to the opposite side. Hug the knees back into the chest. Give yourself one final squeeze. And as you exhale, coming into final Shavasana, extending the legs, close your eyes. You can stay here for as long as you'd like. Thank you for practicing with me. Let's share the word Namaste. Thanks, everyone.